<laughs> Hello folks in this video I'm just gonna show a box of old VHS tapes that a buddy of mine gave me uh, for some reason he just decided to give me these tapes even though I don't own a VCR I know some people out there still own VCRs I wish I owned a old VCRs but I uh, already messed them up with you know how I am putting in old nasty tapes and it fucks up your VCR anyway I'm sorry let's just get to the I'm not gonna review these uh, tapes I'm just gonna show you guys these first video we got is the way we were The 25th anniversary, starring Barbara Streisand and Robert Redford. Some memories last forever. I really haven't seen this yet. Uh, it's a 1974 classic, but I really haven't seen the movie. Next one is a uh, Crimson Tide. And starring Denzel Washington and Gene Hackman in the face of the ultimate nuclear showdown. One man has absolute power and one man will do anything to stop him. Directed by Tony Scott. I haven't seen this. A lot of these movies I haven't seen. But you know that's how I am. I'm picky when it comes to my movies. This one is uh, Far and Away. Starring Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman. A Ron Howard film directed by my man Opie and Richie Cunningham. E I'm just kidding, I just had to do that. What they needed was a country big enough enough big enough for their dreams. From nineteen ninety two. This one is Fallen Down, which I heard is a good movie. I haven't seen this yet. I may watch this one day. Starring Michael Douglas, a tale of unborn, unborn reality. The adventures of an ordinary man at war with the everyday world. Sounds like me and everybody else in this world. world. This one is a uh, recurrent. Uh, the recurrent starring Al Pacino, you know Tony Montana, man, and Colin Farrell. Yeah, the recurrent. Can't say it right now. You know how I am. In the CIA, nothing, nothing is what it seems. True, so true. It will have you on the edge of your. It will have you on the edge of your seat. Actually, it says has you on the edge of your seat, but it's the same thing. Doesn't matter what. Speech. This one is a. Uh, I always remember this from the late nineties. I saw this. Uh, I didn't see the whole movie. Just a couple of scenes. The beginning in, in that scene. Uh, in the diner, Jack Nicholson in as good as it gets. Jan Nicholson, Helen Hunt, and Gene Kinnear. A comedy from the heart that goes from the story. Won a 1997 Academy Award uh, for Best Picture, Best Actor, Jack Nicholson, Best Actress, Helen Hunt, Best Supporting Actor, Gene Kinnear, or Gene Kinnear, or however, you remember, however you pronounce his last name. And Best Screenplay, Mark Edgerson, and James L. Brooks. We're almost about done. I found a lot of VHS tapes. Yes, some. Um, here's one I always remember. It's a Julia Roberts one. Um. Okay, it's my best friend's wedding. I was trying to get more information. I remember the scene where Cameron Diaz sees Julia Roberts, kisses uh. You know Dermot Maloney. Or Rupert Everett. I forget, but a. Uh, 
you know, Julia Roberts' character, I always remember, had the thing for him, but she's getting married to Cameron Diaz. I always remember that uh, in the scene. I, I never remember the whole movie. This one, I always remember another uh, Julia Roberts movie as a kid. Never watched it. You know, they always, uh, every time they do these romantic movies, they always bring the same actors. Like, uh, you know, you had Tom Hanks and uh, Meg Ryan and Sleepless in Seattle. And they brought them back and you've got mail. Because they always love those chemistry with those actors. It's Runaway, Runaway Bride with, you know. You remember these two in Pretty Woman, walking down the street, Pretty Woman, the kind I want to meet, Mercy, Pretty Woman, based on the Roy, uh, you know, song, can't say his last name right now, Roy Overson, yeah. Get ready to fall in love with Roberts and Gene all over again, we know what that means. I remember uh, Julia Roberts' character was the bride. Uh, she always runs away from the weddings. And uh, let's see, I remember Richard Gere's character has to had to be a reporter or something. Yeah, newspaper co columnist trying to get a story from her why she runs away from her weddings and they fall in love. But I always remember the scenes where Saint Richard. Uh, I mean, Richard Gere, about to say Dreyfus, dyes his hair rainbow colors, and uh, uh, Julia Roberts' mother in the movie, her character, says he's got a cute butt or something like that. I always remember that scene. And we're about done with one more thing. This is my favorite. Of all the VHS tapes, this one's my favorite. Now, this movie I didn't see a whole bunch, but uh, I remember I, I saw uh, the beginning and some of the scenes, and it's the Terminator 2. Terminator 2 with Edward Burlong as John Connor. House for the least of baby, I'll be back. Sorry, I had that bad accent. That's the Terminator. This one where he finally becomes the good guy. Remember, I always remember, I've seen the original Terminator, the first one. Where uh, Schwarzenegger plays the robotic bad guy. He's trying to kill, uh, you know, Linda the helmet in uh, Sarah Connor. I got to kill the bitch. Ask Paula Vista, baby. Where is Sarah Kanda? Can I see her, please? And the officer guard says no. And he says, I'll be back. I know that's a bad Australian, not a Austrian accent, but I just, I had to do that. I just had to do that. Yeah, the first Terminator I like, this one is cool. I didn't really see uh, a lot of it, but uh, I saw Terminator 3 and it was okay. I know uh, it did get some bad reviews, but Terminator 3 was okay, especially if you had that woman as a uh, robotic Terminator this time being uh, trying to kill John Connor. Of course, John Connor was played by that other actor, not Edward Furlong. And that's it, I'm at the end of this review. Not a review, I'm sorry, I'm just, I just felt like showing you guys these uh, tapes that uh, a guy I know uh, gave me just for some reason, I don't know. Yeah, I don't watch VHS, ta VHS tapes anymore, I do miss those days from the 90s, watching those uh, good old v VHS tapes. Because when I was born, I just was used to the VHS era. I didn't know uh, what, what beta was, or... Uh, Laser disc. I know laser disc was still at this time, but uh, you know that laser disc was that big DVD player, but it was shaped like a record. I heard if you put it in the, if you fast forward the laser disc, it, it would go real quicker than the DVD when you fast forward it on your remote. But that's all I'm gonna say. I'm at the end of this review. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to subscribe to my channel. I know I don't make uh, good videos. I suck at uh, doing these reviews and telling you guys my thoughts of the day. But I like doing this video, uh, these videos anyway because it, it gets me through the day. Or if you're wondering, uh, I cut myself shaving if you can see that.
I'm always cutting myself, shaving, but I take it like a man, baby. Take it like a man. Anyway, I'm about to end this video. And please subscribe to my channel if you want to subscribe to my channel. I always say this, and I gotta say it again. You don't have to like me. You don't have to respect me. Just subscribe if you want to subscribe to my channel. Anyway, that's it. I'm out.